Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. So I've had an exciting couple of days. I stopped work on my chimney stress so that I could go to San Francisco for two days to see my friend Jen of Miss Jen Makes. She has had a 20 questions on this channel. I will link to it above and below for you. We basically wanted to raid all the fabric stores that we could possibly get to, although we'd actually, we went to like four or five, but it wasn't really that many. But I thought I would show you a haul of what I got and show you like where I got it and stuff. Um, I didn't get a ton of stuff, but I did get more than your average bear because it's me. <laughs> I also wanted to mention that Next week, we are going to, I have like seven 20 questions videos that I've been sitting on for all summer until now, and it's November, so it's not summer. <laughs> uh, and I wanted to like give those people time in the sun. <laughs> so I'm going to do what I call Friendsgiving, and I am going to put out a 20 questions video every single day, Monday through Sunday of Thanksgiving week, so that you guys have something to watch and new people to meet and stuff like that. So I hope you enjoy that. Uh, I'm still working on my chemise dress. It is, of course, taking longer than I wanted to. So I thought I would give you this little video as a little, hey, how's it going? I'm still working <laughs> on things kind of video, but the haul is fun, so yeah. Okay, so first up, we have stuff that Jen brought me. So she brought me this cool, like, uh, cotton print that she thought screamed me, and I agree. I love it. <laughs> she uses the stuff to put into, like, pockets and stuff like that, interlining, etc., so... Um, that is in fact what I will use for it for also. She also brought me some of this most beautiful denim and it's stretch. So she is sort of hellbound on me making a pair of pants or something like that. Maybe I have a couple jacket ideas, which I will show you one of soon, <laughs> but um, she wants me to make pants. So I might be trying pants at some point in the new year. So she brought me two and a half yards of this beautiful stretch denim. So then we went to Stone Mountain and Daughter, and I could not resist this beautiful wool. It's coming across a little lighter on camera than it is in real life. It is a very deep, deep teal green color. Definitely more green than blue, but it's definitely a teal. Oh. It's beautiful. I think it was about $30 a yard. For Stone Mountain Daughter, that's actually a really cheap price. So, I mean, I was looking at wools that I was like, that's $129 a yard. Cool. And clearly I am aptly named because <laughs> I have red wool and green wool. Mm, I don't love that. Anyway, <laughs> so I could not resist this absolutely beautiful wool. I got five yards. You never know what you're going to need it for or for how much or for how long. So I got because that's my default. This is coating weight. It is very heavy actually um, and it's boiled wool so oh it's gorgeous. Then we went to Brightex which is somewhere that normally I would never buy things at because it is so so dang expensive but they were having a remnant sale so I did buy two things one of which was not a remnant and one of which we are not going to talk about the price of because it was ridiculous and I should not pay that much but also I kind of love this. So Jen has this jean jacket which I will show you a picture of here super cute. It's a pattern that I will link down below for you guys. I am super into making this pattern in this jacket and let me show you what I found. It's denim. It's black denim and it has, oh wow, it's even more silver on camera. <laughs> in person it comes across as significantly more black, like, like in here, but with shiny aspects to it. But then, just imagine the inside of my jacket. Hello Captain EO. <laughs> It is denim and this is poly threads that are woven into it so it does not have a coating at all which is great which means it can be washed um, if it needs to be which is fantastic. I am hype on whatever this jacket is going to be. <laughs> I obviously need to make a couple practice jackets uh, before I'm going to dive into using this fabric for that but yeah I am so excited. This was so expensive. <laughs> so expensive. I do not spend this much money on fabric usually but... She also talked me down from three yards to two and a half yards because she says I can make it. So <laughs> I will leave all that information down below for you. So if you want to make this jacket yourself, you can. This fabric is probably on Bright Texas. This is a good shot of how sparkly this is. This fabric is probably on Bright Texas website if you want to if you want to look it up and check it out. So yeah. And then in the remnants bit bin, I found this. Oh my god. So this is linen watered. It says linen water. So this is originally for $59 a yard, 
This is marked at $49.99 for a yard and 7 eighths, so it's already half price, and then you get half off this. So I paid $25 for almost two yards of 54 inch width of this linen, which has also, I mean, I was in shiny person heaven here. Um, I am thinking I might make a pair of stays out of this. It actually feels like, like on the inside, it's just linen. Like it just feels like linen on the outside. It feels like almost like tablecloth, <laughs> like outdoor tablecloth uh, material. So it is coated with something, but I think this would make the coolest pair of stays. But I do have this much of it. So if I find something better to make out of it, that might be a thing that happens. I also got some of this tape, which is used for draping um, when you use your dress form to drape. And since I am sort of wandering in that direction, I thought I would get some of this. And I got the tote. It is so cute. It's totes cute. I love it. And then my last purchases were made at Lassis. So let's go through what we got here. I got a magnet on a stick so I can pick up pins much easier, which is great. I got two thimbles that are nickel. I'm super excited about that. Um, I wear 15.5 or 16 millimeter. I have giant hands, by the way, in case anyone didn't know that. And I got the open top kind because I have nails, in case anyone didn't know that. And uh, I got these because I have the, the copper ones, but they leave a green tinge on my finger. Is there, is there a green on my finger right now? Like, not really, but... I was just wearing my thimble, so I get, I get, it's green on the inside. I've used nail polish, it just comes off, so, yeah. Um, these John James sewing needles are Jen's favorite, so I thought I would try these. Um, I got this cute, the three tiny books, which are super cute. So, this is a gallery of fashion, so it just has, like, fashion plates throughout the ages, which I thought were super cute. I got a couple extra copies of these for Christmas presents for friends. I also got this little corset book, a workbook on period underwear. So it actually has patterns in it and everything, which I'm just like, whoa, that's cool. So I got a couple of these, which I thought was really cool. And a little bodice book, which is the same, talking about bodices. Also with patterns, which I'm completely shocked at. Anyway, these are fun. Okay, these are buttonhole scissors, and I'm still trying to figure out how these work. What I think happens is you unscrew or unscrew this so that the scissors have to stop at a certain spot, although they kind of like lock so you can't really close them until you push on them, and then you would start your buttonhole at this juncture, and it would end at this juncture. So the more you unscrew this, the smaller this buttonhole goes. So I think this limits you from being able to cut your buttonhole too much act by accident with your scissors so uh, I'm constantly trying to find new ways to cut open buttonholes for for no particular reason because I never actually had a problem cutting open a buttonhole <laughs> it just seems to be an obsession you should see all the buttonhole opening devices I have anyway um so I bought this because I thought it would be fun to play with they gave me napkins for free which I was really excited about these napkins were 10 for 15 dollars though I spent a lot of money there though <laughs> so they were like you can have these so I got new napkins for our house for dinner and I thought they were really pretty I'm like is it too bright to see the drawn thread work in here there you go isn't that pretty I just thought these were gorgeous and 10 napkins for 15 bucks that's great uh this book garment patterns 1889 Woo, Nelly I am into this um Definitely got patterns in it, both male and female patterns, also children's patterns, but all kinds of different stuff. So I thought that this book looked awesome. If I can find this book on like Amazon or whatever, I'll put it on my Amazon shop. For those of you who still want to shop at Amazon, for those of you who don't want to shop at Amazon now, completely understand. But I will take their affiliate money. <laughs> Uh, this one is 1908 Ladies Tailor Made Garments. I just loved every skirt that was in here. So, I mean, that was like a 20 gourd skirt we just saw. <laughs> but they have all the skirts. They have all kinds of stuff in here, which I just thought was absolutely awesome and amazing. And I guess you just take your measurements once and then from then on you can do any of these patterns. Anyway, so much stuff. Whoa, that, look at these coats. Look at how many pieces are there. These are probably absolutely gorgeous. Let's see. Is there pictures of coats? Yeah. Like, look at all these panels. Wow. Okay, so I got that book. 
Mm, I got this one. I have other books that are like this by the same author. So I just thought this is cool. It's very similar. Has um, different patterns, but definitely the same time period. A little bit longer of a time period. That one's specifically the, the stuff that was available in 1908. And this one is um, undeclared. I have another one that's 1909 to 1950, though. <laughs> uh... I apparently was on an Edwardian kick, although technically anything after 19, what is it, 10 is not Edwardian. It's whoever was after Edward, George, another George. It's Georgian. Bernadette pointed out the other day that we're living in, in the a second Elizabethan era, era, and I was like, oh wow. But I'm American, so I'm not an Elizabethan. Although, you know, I do kind of want to cuddle the queen. Okay, so similar. I was on a kick. This book also looks great. I love that it's some of it is one way and some of it's the other, depending on what they needed to do. It's great. Use your books the way you need to. Oh, I think this one has a cool pair of pants in it. That's one of the reasons I got it, because I was like, yeah, those pants are awesome. And Jen was like, these pants are neat. I want to make them. So anyway, these books are just a wealth of information on stuff that I will never have time to make because you can see how slow I am. But here we are. This is kind of the piece de la resistance. Now, you will be like, Noelle, why do you need a book about tailoring in 1589 that is decidedly not your era? Well, friends, that's because this book is for Morgan. <laughs> um, it's a hard book to find. It has both the original Italian and like all the drawings in Italian, etc. for the kind of costuming she does. I think there's an introduction and forward at the beginning. So the, the brown pages, these tan colored pages, are the Italian. And I believe the pages that are in white are English. Uh, and then in the back, there's a translation of all the stuff that they showed you earlier. So this is kind of a hard and out of print expensive book to find. So I found one, which is unusual. So this is Morgan's Christmas present for the next three years is what I'm saying here. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that little haul. That is what I got with Jen. I decided not to film my time out with Jen because I wanted to just enjoy hanging out and stuff like that. So yeah, I am going to go to Disneyland in December and I think I will make a vlog there because there will be some people joining us that are fun so that that should be cool and I can show you what Disneyland's like now that the pandemic's happening anyway um that's gonna happen okay so Friendsgiving's happening almost done with my dress like I'm on the last three or four steps so we're almost there so you'll probably see a finished dress video at that that probably the end of the week I would guess and videos every day all next week for you guys it's like vlogs vlogmas but different it's like 20 questions a giving. Friendsgiving is better. <laughs> okay, I will see you guys next time. Uh, I hope you're all having a great day. I hope you all in America have a great Thanksgiving week. I hope everyone survives Black Friday. Remember that you don't need any of that stuff, but it's a great time to get deals. <laughs> oh, also, if you guys are looking for Christmas presents, remember that last year I made three gift giving guides for people who want to buy presents that are like costume related. So those are still available. I will link them above here during this segment and also down below for you so that you guys can click on those and check them out. Um, I'll make a community post about that also. Okay, see you guys later.